journalists whose influence spanned the entire world. That's the idea behind the symposium tomorrow, which is being organized by Syracuse University's Department of African American Studies. SU Professor Misheri Mokul joins us more or more with the significance of the book Arrow of God and its author. Good morning. Good morning. Morning. Thank you for being here. Of course, thank you for inviting me. Well, tell us about this book and why it's important um, to showcase it this weekend. Absolutely. Arrow of God is Achebe's uh, third novel, after things fall apart and no longer at ease. Mm. And Arrow of God is about uh, colonization, mm. resistance to colonization, uh, the clash of cultures with the Igbo people of Nigeria. Um, resisting you know British colonial education and then we have their leader who is the high priest um, Ezeulu and who is a major character in the novel mm. and who is also uh, used by Achebe not just to critique colonialism but also to show that um, power can be abused mm. and if that happens and you alienate the community then there is a problem so it's significant because this year a lot of African nations are celebrating their 50th years of anniversary of independence and this work has got a whole lot to teach us about um, what went wrong, what went right, and that kind of thing. So I guess the significance is that the book came out at the same time there was all this, um, you know, change that was going on in Africa, right? Absolutely. It records that in an artistic, beautiful way as a novel, as a story. But right, yes, that's what it's talking about. And it won a number of awards as well. It was kind of groundbreaking in a sense. Absolutely. In fact, um, a lot of uh, critics regard it the finest work by Chinua Achebe in terms of just artistic achievement mm -hmm. as well as the message and just the way he is able to blend and fuse so beautifully issues of form and content and um, he himself was asked which of your books is your favorite and he said well that's unfair it's like asking me which of my children yeah. is my <laughs> so he said I can only say I have gone back again and again uh, to read a row of God and that shows there's something special there as there is something special in every child so now talk a little bit about the symposium that's happening and you know what people can expect and why you're doing this Yes, we're doing it first to commemorate um, the 50th anniversary of Arrow of God mm -hmm. and of course um, it, it help the legacy of this great man and writer Chinua Achebe live, live on. Mm -hmm. As you know, he passed away last year mm -hmm. in, in March. And um, the second thing is that this really fits into what we do in the curriculum, covering sites of knowledge that are very often either marginalized or not so much taught in the academy and highlighting that this is very important work. Thirdly, it's a part of global celebrations. Mm -hmm. These celebrations for the 50th anniversary of Arrow of God are happening in Britain, in Australia, in Germany, in France, in Africa, everywhere. So we are a part of, of that picture and we are very proud to be a part of it. And then fourthly, we believe in having intellectual forum that involves both the campus and the community to mm -hmm. come into dialogue with each other mm -hmm. and we are providing that pla platform for that kind of thing. Now who's going to be coming into town to be a part of the uh, symposium? Yes, good question. Uh, very prominent scholars of Achebe uh, coming from universities such as um, Harvard. Uh, our main speaker, Professor Ijaifo, mm -hmm. is from Harvard and uh, Rutgers, Cornell, mm -hmm. uh, Michigan and um, a whole lot of others. And there are some two guests coming from Britain, London, including one of the um, leading publishers of, of Chino. Uh, Dame um, uh, Ayebia Clark. Mm -hmm. So it's an international audience and also national audience, and we also want the local people to be a part of it. Yeah. Wonderful. Well, we want to remind you about the event. The symposium is tomorrow from 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. at the Crown Plaza in Syracuse on six, or 701 East Genesee Street. It's free and open to the public mm -hmm. and it's made possible by the Department of African Studies at Syracuse University's College of Arts and Sciences. And for more information, you can visit the website aas.syr.edu. Well, Sherry, thanks for being with Thank us. Thank you this very morning. much. Thank you. And we'll be right back here on